Hey there, Aries friends. Welcome to the final reading of the week, the final weekly reading of September. How about that? How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. For all of you guys who have subscribed, thank you so much. If you have comment and subscribe, I have added your name to my free 30-minute recorded raffle drawing. Okay, so that will happen this Wednesday, September 25th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you can tune in live, by all means, please, please join me live to see if you are the winner. I will be drawing three names, Aries friends, and I would love for you guys to be in that drawing. So if you've already commented and subscribed in the past, you know, you don't need to do it again. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell and you will always get updates when I upload videos or announce winners to the reading raffle. So Aries, I'm going to say a quick prayer and then get into your reading, my darlings. So Father, thank you for my Aries friends. Thank you for the initiative and spirit they bring to this world. I pray for the highest level of divine guidance possible uh, for them. Thank you, Archangel Spirit, guys of the Holy Most Highest Divine Order. Thank you, ancestors, and thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. So Aries, right off the top of the deck, um, it says no two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. This is about comparisons. All right. This card says comparisons are odious because they presume all other things are equal, which is never the case between me and you. So Aries, this card is encouraging you not to compare yourself to others because everybody's journey is so different and there's so much about other people you don't know that you can't compare yourself or level of success it's so subjective because people have gone through so many different things so this is about not making comparisons no two flowers are the same Aries but they're both beautiful in their own way and then underneath that card is forgive Aries it says of course anger can always be justified but then so can forgiveness just depends on how much more you want from the adventure and go for gobs so forgiveness is a choice just like unforgiveness is a choice anger about something is also a choice right Aries so you are being encouraged to forgive all righty let's see what guidance comes out of the angel guidance deck here what guidance holy spirit do you have for my aries friends this final week of september the 23rd through the 30th aries i always also want to mention there is a new moon in um there's a new moon in libra on saturday so it's a good opportunity to get a get a vision a clear vision of what it is that you want new to come into your life and use that energy to bring it to pass. So the ocean came out, Aries, and it says, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing wound brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean, allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns and then you have fresh air so it looks like you all are being encouraged to get near water be outside definitely be in a nature uh be in the elements okay some of you may have a need to get out of the house and at the bottom of the deck is a change in direction here and you see there are two babies in that picture so somebody could have some new additions coming soon all righty all right aries let's get into your reading let's see what's at the core foundational that popped right out new beginnings so in that card did you guys see there were two babies the number 20 here uh, breaks down to a number two aries which is about divine companionship it's about uh it could be somebody's expecting twins or two of something happening in your life and in this particular uh on the, this is a major arcana card aries which is about major shifts in your life um this angel is watching over a family so you guys could have maybe two additions to your family embarking on a new beginning um i think children have something to do with your reading this time aries and then see how she's outside with a little boy 
So some of you may be encouraged to spend time with children. Um, some of you may be in a uh, anxious state, being very mental. This is usually the night of Michael's about worry, staying up at night, not sleeping well, um, thinking about things. Um, you are being, this card is also about forgiving, having a compassionate and forgiving review of the past. So in order to get a clean, fresh start, Aries, you guys are being encouraged to forgive and heal your past. Um, the planet Chiron is retrograde in your sign, has been retrograde in your sign for quite a few months. And I think it go, comes out of retrograde maybe in November or December. But that is a planet of inner healing. So Aries, you guys are still being encouraged to do some introspective work, do some healing. It brings freedom and newness to you guys, right? That's what forgiveness does. So you have a you know, a brand new beginning, um, a new way of looking at life, a new start to life. And I think forgiveness offers you guys that. OK, what is the crossing energy for my Aries friends? So your change in direction card talks about having a newborn willingness to open your heart to love and guidance. Um, you are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. And then the Empress card is your crossing energy. So what that tells me, Aries, is that some of you are going from being one to two. OK, like maybe you've been super, super independent and you are learning how to expand your family, um, going from being single to literally being a couple or being a part of a larger group or something like that uh, with the Empress as your crossing energy. So they're both successful. It's just a different way of living. And so maybe you're trying to compare the two lifestyles. But it's just different. It's not necessarily one is bad, one is good. Um, the page of Ariel um, just indicates there's some kind of message, um, offer. Um, there's something uh, being offered to you as an excellent opportunity. Um, maybe some of you are getting an offer for partnership. What is the foundation of this reading? What's underlying this reading from my Aries friends? Yeah, and then and then there is uh, let the past go. So Aries, there's definitely a theme here. Uh, I think there for some of you there will be additions to your family, um, and the way to heal. Your family situation is to let go of the past and to forgive. You're also being encouraged to play. So I think this card goes with the fresh air and the ocean card that you guys had. So, you know, I, I, it just feels like, you know, Aries, you guys can be freer than maybe you realize. And forgiveness offers you that plus the opportunity to actually go somewhere and rejuvenate and revive yourself getting out into nature playing with your children uh, playing with children there are children in almost every one of these guidance cards so some of you uh, may be encouraged to spend more time with children outside or you may be doing that the week of the 23rd or the 30th spending more time outdoors being with family yeah, so you have three major arcana so far, Aries, which means there's some major shifts going on with you guys. Release yourself from that which holds you back and need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So that nine of wands energy is, you know, you guys definitely being worried about something, uh, maybe something new, a new venture, um, really being in your heads about it. Um release yourself from that which holds you back there is a new beginning uh, meant for you and this decision you're going to have the gift of clarity 
and communication, knowing what you want to say and how you want to do something. And the, here is the wheel of fortune. So time is definitely moving in your favor, Aries, to shift you into a new beginning. What is the recent past for my Aries friends? And so with all of this major life movement, Aries, it you know, the thing about these major arcana cards is it really is like even if they're positive, it just life is shifting. And sometimes that can be unnerving a little bit. Your recent past is the four of Gabriel. So this is a happy card usually, right? This is an activity. Maybe there was a family function or family event that you went to. Um, this is, you know, also the wedding card. So in your recent past, there could have been some type of a, a celebration or something like that. Um, the justice card is Libra energy. So it could have, you know, been a family event involving a Libra. Um, but this is things working out divinely, fairly balanced. Okay. Um, so happy times with family. It just shows in the recent past. For you guys, um, I think you all have been diligently working on something, and maybe that's why you got the need, the card for fresh air, play, and the ocean is because you have been focused. There was an eight of pentacles there, which is really being a studious, really focusing on work or school. The crowning energy of your reading, Aries, is the sun card, which is literally about beautiful. This is a fourth major arcana you've had, Aries. Beautiful energy, illumination, sunshine. Definitely a need to get out in the sun. No question about it. Life being wonderful and thriving through the power of positive thinking. That's huge in this reading, Aries. It's losing any negative energy getting rid of any negative low vibration energy and entering into the sun literally and figuratively in the near future the star lots of healing this is beautiful aries it is so beautiful the ability to move beyond the past past hurt past whatever into healing beautiful energy it's like being able to wish and hope and dream again, totally. That is one, two, three, four, five major arcana Aries. Yeah, removing yourself from the drama of others, okay? Five of Gabriel is, uh, it's like the five of wands. It's like argumentative energy, low vibration, like moving away from this into sort of a, a very much a healing energy that star card is also about believing in yourself aries definitely and another major arcana the emperor aries this is like your card it's like the divine masculine version of of the empress it is literally being resourceful um stability being able to sort of rest and look at everything that you have created that is beautiful energy um, the three of Michael is here, which is something coming to an end that was hurtful. Literally, maybe uh, not talking, uh, releasing the past. Big theme here. And moving towards calmer waters. Some of you may be traveling. Some of you may be traveling, relocating. But it's coming out of tumultuous waters into a place of peace, Aries. Definitely. Definitely. That's beautiful. And if for some reason, like if you went to an event in the past and you begin to compare yourself, your life to someone else's life, like, oh, look at all the stuff that they have. They're getting married. They got a husband. They have a dog. They have a raccoon. I want a raccoon. <laughs> myself anyway Aries my point is don't compare your life to others like it when when stuff you can't see especially if you're at an event everything is supposed to be beautiful right people don't wear their bullshit on their wedding gown like you know what I'm saying people don't wear difficulty like that so so whatever you're looking at is the best version of someone's life that's not really what life is like every day and that's why comparisons 
are odious. You cannot compare yourself to other people because you don't have enough information about them to compare yourself. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And I hope it makes you feel better. Um, you guys have all major arcana except for the four of Gabriel, which is humongous. All right. So an offer of love, Aries. So yeah, someone is coming towards you. They want a, a commitment. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but somebody wants a a fulfilling romantic relationship. A new emotional experience is coming for you. Deep and lasting spiritual insights for some of you. You are getting, definitely getting that, especially with Chiron and retrograde. It's all about lasting healing, like healing that takes for the long haul. This forgiveness will not be temporary. It's like I've forgiven it, I've released it, and I've let it go. And I'm literally moving on to calmer waters. A balance being restored to your life, totally. And for some of you, it literally is like an offer of love coming to you. Um, making you the happiest you've ever been in your entire life. I like it. What are Aries hopes and fears, Holy Spirit? Aries hopes and fears, please. Oh, yes, Aries. Look at this. New partner. Yeah, you got to let go of the past because there is a new person coming in. I totally believe this new partner goes with this Ace of Cups, baby doll. When you guys heal and release the past, your new person comes in totally. In your hopes and fears. Yeah, being at a crossroads, having a choice to make. Are you going to hold on to the past or embrace your new beautiful future? Ah, Aries, beautiful. And your outcome. Bam, victory, the chariot. Some of you literally will be traveling. This is a cancer card, but this is victory. Oh, wow. Determination, self-control, career advancement, and acknowledgement of success by others. Aries, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. When you guys release the past, it's nothing but victory. I'm going to hold up all of these major arcana. Life is shaking you into goodness. Yes. You, the overall energy, you have a brand new beginning with more people than yourself, which is why the Empress is just crossing energy because you guys are, many of you are used to being very independent, doing things yourself. So yeah, you have a, a major decision to make, which will involve releasing the past, letting go of the past, not comparing yourself to others, um, walking in the sunshine. Um, what's that Partridge family song they used to sing? I think I'll go for a walk outside now. Something like that. Share my light in the sun. I just made that up. Anyway, you are encouraged to walk outside in the sunshine of life of life. Healing is coming to your life. Aries, beautiful, lasting change, lasting change. When you let the past go this time, you are genuinely letting the past go so that you can embrace the future, a stable emperor. Look at this. You have the emperor and the empress. There is a an ideal, iconic mate for you, literally, who is coming in with this offer of love. In order to receive it, you must release the past and let it go. Yes, you will have to learn how to walk with somebody, but there is definitely a choice you are going to be making. And your outcome is victorious. Aries, my God, this is a lot of life change. This is a lot of changes but it's all for your greatest good. It is the, the universe, God, working behind the scenes to bring you the best life you've ever had. Do the very, very small, 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 small work of forgiving so that you can embrace all the beauty that life has to offer you, Aries. It's a very small price to pay for all of this beauty that is waiting for you. I love you guys. I love you. God bless you. 
take advantage of the reading specials I have right now. I have a $15 30-minute recorded reading. It's listed under New Moon, Full Moon Special. Um, and also a love and compatibility reading for only $22. Um, I try to have a couple very affordable readings because it can get a little pricey out here in YouTube world. So take advantage of those. I am having a hot flash in case you're like, what the heck just happened? I had a hot flash. Anyway, I love you dearly. Comment and subscribe to be entered in the, the free recorded reading raffle. And Aries, embrace all of this new goodness. I love you guys dearly. God bless.